Hi, Mike German from Visual Animation. Now, welcome to day one of the fun in four. Now, this is a series that is going to run throughout March, 31 days. Every day there will be a video, a four minute video, or well, close to four minutes as I can get it, of a fun and cool feature in Cinema 4D. And also it's great for beginners, right? This is something that you will be, be able to just pick up in four minutes, follow along with me, learn some new technique if you've never used Cinema much before and just get up and running with it, okay? So every day there will be a different, really fun little thing <laughs> that that's within cinema that I'll show you. So today, day one, this is a really cool effect. This is super easy to do. It only takes about two or three minutes to do this, couple of clicks, and we've got this thing. And this can be used in so many different applications. This is, well, I'm starting off day one with a really fun one. And I'm gonna be ending the month with my favorite one of all time okay so today is fun to kick start this series off so let's get started and see if we can get this thing done for you in four minutes right are you ready first thing we need is oh I messed up straight away first thing we need is this here he is right what we're going to do with him Let's do something really cool. Right, so we click on figure. We go up to, we go up to Volnoy Fracture. Hold the Alt key down. We then go to distribution. We type in one. We distribution type inverse normal. So you should see a color per joint on the, on the character. Okay, when we've got that, we go down to connections and go create fixed connector. Uh, we then right click on volanoid fracture and add a rigid body and we change the, what do we change? Uh, we change the force angular damp into 100. And what else do we do? Let's have a look. We go on connector and we go ignore collisions and we take off the breaking force for now and we also go and add a floor and on the floor we put a collider body okay so let's take that out and let's just call this a rag doll okay now let's also turn off this color. Now this color is just um, it's just a visual, but it's just there to, so you can see the frag the fragments. But we'll turn it off for now so you can see what's happening. So we grab him and we put him up in the air, and we zoom out a little. And if all my calculations are right, he will. Fall on the floor. Oh. Look at him. Here he comes. <laughs> oh. Okay. <laughs> but if we put breaking force and breaking torque on and then let him do it, he just kind of breaks into bits. Let's put a few more frames in and let's. Uh, let's put another couple of zeros in there and see if that, that helps with it a little. Ah, yeah, so they are quite like that. It's just little bits break off. So, yeah, that's it. That's the quick tip how to make a rag doll and mess around with bits of it. And you can get bits to break off, or you can have it so it doesn't break and it just flops on the floor. So many things you can do with it. Let me just show you a little animation I'm doing right now look I just thought I'd show you what you can do with him so here he is turned in red 
hung him upside down above a glass coffee table. Why not? And then press play and he goes, ah, uh, ooh, yeah. Uh, he's done a bit of damage there, hasn't he? Yeah, he's just gonna have to replace that thing, I think. So that's that. So hopefully that's four minutes thereabouts and I'll see you tomorrow at 4 p.m. This is 4 p.m. Uh, Greenwich Mean Time. This is um, British time. Um, so yeah, basically it's Cinema 4D. It's a four minute video and it premieres every day at 4 p.m. British time, uh, Greenwich Mean Time. Uh, join me every day for the month of March. They, there are 31 days in March. There will be 31 videos and they will all teach a fun, quick technique that you can, if you've never used it before, you can just go and get that technique and use it straight away. And it's fun. And, and we've got loads of really good ones coming up, especially towards the end of the month. So my name is Mike German from Visual Animations. Speak to you tomorrow at 4 p.m. Goodbye for now.